Hello. Um, I'm going to share some of my reactions for trying out Tron mode on the HTC Vive for pretty much the first time. And I call it Tron mode. Don't think it actually has a name. It's just part of the um, uh, chaperone, which stops you from walking into walls, uh, which is an important feature of the Vive, as the Vive involves walking. Since I talk a lot in this video, um, and I have a long, boring introduction type thing, uh, go to this minute mark to uh, to see the actual good stuff in the video, um, where I turn it on totally, and I start walking around. Um, Drawers on the floor. If I get near the edge, I get blue. And as you can see, it is mostly on the bottom, or it's more on the bottom part than it is on the top part. That's because the camera's facing down, because you're going to more likely be worried about things on the floor than you are things on the ceiling. It's still easy to look up, because this thing has a massive field of view. Like, this is actually filling the entire field of view with the Vive, and uh, there's no distortion or anything. Here's something, like this pole. You can see my blue laser lines are going around it. There's a tiny bit of latency when I move my head. Um, so the it's kind of interesting the reason there's latency there um, when you're just looking at stuff like there's no latency here there's a little bit of motion blur but that's it um, so the the projection of this view actually compensates for the camera's um, latency as I move my head like this but when it's actual you know 3d motion in the world it can't compensate for that if I have my hand here hands controllers were in that bag a moment ago Here's the, the five cable on the floor. Look at that, I can, it's tracked cable. I can see exactly where my cable is. That's pretty sweet. Like actually, I could just turn on the camera and see the cable on the floor, <laughs> right? That's really, really useful. I hadn't even thought about that. Um, that's fantastic. So another thing is, there are my controllers. Like they're almost lined up correctly. They're not quite lined up correctly, but um, they're very close. So, oh, and if we do this, of course, yeah, look at that. Those are not quite lined up, are they? They're pretty close. The camera that's on the on the Vive is actually at a different position from my eyes, so they're not going to be lined up perfectly. So, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the full Tron, Tron mode enabled by the controller. Uh, we can see that we can see my cord on the floor really well. Um, so if you're ever, you know, playing a game um, and you get super tangled up here, I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to tangle myself up. Oh no, what happened to the cord? I can see it. I can see the cord. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> um, oh, and then you can also get the, the actual camera there as well. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, like the carpet is, everything on the floor is actually projected correctly, so it's really interesting to look at that because, you know, that's actually where it is on the floor. Oh, also if I close one eye, um, the the problems with the, the parallax because this is all projected like onto sort of I guess a plane and then like a hemisphere above me maybe it's hard to tell honestly I think it's a plane and then like a, a dome but if I close one eye all of the all of the the parallax goes away and my brain uses other cues for depth um, like how things move when I move around so I actually am getting like a it, my eye is closed right now one of my eyes is closed um, I'm getting a perfectly accurate um, sensation of like this space that I'm in which is familiar to me like the size all feels correct um, the location of stuff feels correct if I have my hand out like this feels 3d whoa is that okay that's a shadow I was like what is that looks like a clipping plane anyway that that's pretty great yeah uh, <laughs> I really get a, a kick out of being able to see my hands also, huh, that's interesting. Things seem like they're not lined up correctly. Um, remember that, like, this is not the consumer version of the software. Um, so calibration may be a little bit wonky at this point. But I'm sure when it finally releases, you know, that base station is going to be whoop, stuck right on there. Uh, stuck to the right spot. I'm going to try to, can I open this door, you think? Eh. This is, this is stretching my cable to its limit. Watch me yank it out of the... Oh, no, no, oh, it's just losing tracking. Yeah, I can... I, I don't know why that... Why I wanted to do that, but I did. Uh, what else should I do? Let's see. I could... I could, uh... Read a book. 
VR. I don't know what this book is. Flow. I don't think I've read this book. Oh, and somehow it like focuses immensely well on things really, really close to it, which is odd. Don't know why it does that so well, but it does. Um, which is kind of interesting if you like. I mean, wow, that is crazy. Somehow it's focused on my finger, which is like practically touching the screen, and the background is clear. Maybe because it's doing these, this post-processing on it. Of, um, I was about to do something. Right, yeah, oh, my phone, where's my phone? Luckily I can pick it up, if I can find it. I refuse to take off the headset, I'm gonna find it. The problem is that the colors of everything is really, are really ambiguous. I'm gonna use the uh, magical, oh, don't want that steam thing in the way. Let's find it, where's my phone? Oh, tracking is off, cause I'm actually like underneath both base <laughs> To give up. There it is. Found it. It's invisible. Okay. Like, take my phone. Like, how is it focusing on that? I, I'm actually pressing my phone up to the camera. That's bewildering to me. How it is. Look at that. It's. Fo <laughs> what is this camera? I'm gonna have to look into that why it can why it can do that in the first place. Um, anyway, I'm getting off topic, or not really, since my topic is just ooh, ooh, everything. Um, Tron mode. I don't know if it actually has a name. Yeah, what sh what should I do now? Should I end the video? Maybe I'll just like skip around. Probably if you don't want to watch anymore, you don't have to. In fact, those of you that don't want to see this probably left a while ago. But I'm just gonna walk around. It is hilariously fun to do that. Here, I'll like my hand out. I'm gonna swing the, the controller around. Is that safe? I'm pretty confused when I take the headset off and like see the world in three dimensions again. Yeah, I'm actually getting used to um not having the right eye left eye parallax as a depth cue and I'm just perceiving the world normal. Maybe it's these like the grid lines and the a couple elements still have regular you know, parallax on them which is controllers and everything rendered but the world does not. If I lie down. Yeah that's not very interesting. Um what should I do? I could like point to that what a human looks like. Yeah. See, this is one thing I thought about. I don't know if I really want to talk to people about like weird paintings. Um, you get used to the lack of parallax. I was really skeptical of this because I was like, how oh, will you be able to tell what anything is if you don't have, you know, depth perception? But turns out as people have told me before, your brain takes depth cues from things besides just the different images from the left and right eyes of the brain. Um, I mean, you use your common sense and figure out heads wiggling like that, you know, the stuff that's wiggling less is probably farther away. Do you want to be super scary? I just thought of this. If you saw somebody walking up to you um, through, the, through Tron mode and then you took it off and there was nobody there. Um, really random idea. Oops, sorry, controllers. Just whack them together. Okay, um, I'm gonna end the video because I don't have anything more to say. It's really cool though. Um, yeah, I highly recommend the Vive as a wonderful product.